everyone, this is number 23, test 1. This is polynomial. P of negative 5 equals 0. What that means, polynomial Px should be looked like this one. x plus 5, we have a quotient, something like this one. So when you put this number negative 5 there, so this is 0, it looks like this one. If p of negative 5 equals to some number here, I'm going to use a constant r. Now px must be in this form. x plus 5, we have a quotient x n plus r. If p of negative 5 is uh, actually the value of r, this is remainder theorem, okay? That means when p of x is divided by x plus 5, remainder is r. Okay, that is a remainder theorem. By this time, remainder is 0. This is a factor theorem. So that means p of x has a factor of x plus 5. That's it, okay? So this one is 0 means it should be looked like this one. p of x must be in this form, x plus 5 times q of x. So x plus 5 is a factor of px. Choice B is that, okay? Number 4, we have a system of inequality. So where is the solution set? So better find out, okay, the graph quickly. This is the graph is 3x plus 1 half. So here is 1 half slope this way. But this is less than below the graph. The next one is 1 over 2x plus 3. Where is the 3? This is 1 half, 3 is over here. But slope is a smaller, a less than 3, okay, or a low down. But this is greater than it well, above the graph. So where is the solution set? Here you go. All these solution sets belong to quadrant one. Okay. A is the answer. Uh, this is number 25. For this domain, negative 4, 2, 5 over here. So we're going to find, okay, some value of x. f of x is less than absolute value f of x. The graph of f of x is given there. It's given already over here. What is the graph of absolute value f of x? So when you have a negative value of y, it's going to be make a positive. So. The graph looks like this one. This is positive same as before, but this is negative, make a positive. The graph looks like move this way. This is a negative, this is make a positive. This one the same thing. Well, what value of x? The height over here, the value of y, this one, is greater than f of x from here to here, right? This height is what? Greater than this number. So negative 3 is not working. They are equal. Where is negative 1.3? Negative 1.3 at this point of x, this height is greater than the other height. That's right. Choice B is the answer, okay? 2.5 is up here. They are equal. 3.7, still, they are equal, okay? Same height. So number 26. So read the question over here, okay? A, B, positive integer. That must be integer, positive. So a squared minus b squared is 24. So you can factor this one. a plus b, a minus b equals 24. But we have only one equation with two variables. This is we said special equation. Okay? But this is integer, positive integer considered as one more equation. This is positive, we know that a plus b must be greater than a minus b. So we have a uh, uh, 24 times 1, or 12 times 12, or uh, 8 times 3, 6 times 4. We have a 4 possible cases. But you can check out. A plus B is 24. A minus B is 1. When you add this to 2A equals 25. But when you divide by 2, A is not integer. Okay? So, 
some of this number is odd number, look like this, 24 plus 1 is odd. When you divide by 2, a cannot be integer, right? So this is out. This is 8 plus 1 is odd number. You have only two choices of here, 12 plus 2. So add this one. a plus b is 12, a minus b is 22. Some of this are 2a, 2a equals 14, a equals 7. Second one over here, 6 and 4 here, 6 and 4. So 2a equals 6 plus 4 is 10, a is 5. So we're going to find the smallest value of a, okay? 5 is a. So number 27. We have a quadratic. Uh, where is the vertex? This is the vertex, this point. This point is always what? Same distance to the x intercept, because this is symmetry. X is in the middle, right? So this is the point is the 3. We got 3 already. So where is y coordinate? Put this number 3 in the, in, in the equation. Y goes one third times x is a 3 and 3 minus 6. So this is 1, 3 minus 6 is a negative 3, okay? So this is the answer, okay? So number 28, what is the approximate perimeter? This is special right triangles. This is 60. This side must be half of this one, 5. The other side is what, 5 times the red, 3, okay? 5 square root 3. So total is a 15 plus 5 red 3. That is a perimeter. Okay? You can use your calculator. Okay? Where is it? 15 plus this is a 1.7 around 8, around 27.7, uh, 23.7, right? That's the best answer. Number 29, the product of this to x, y is 20, y is 10, and uh, x is 18. What is the volume of this solid? So we can define the volume of this solid in terms of x, y, d. So volume is what? x times y times d. Maybe you can plug some numbers, okay? x and y and d. So I'm going to do this way. x, y is 20, y, d is 10. XD, or GX equals 18. When you multiply all of this one, you got this one. X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z, right? So X squared plus Y squared plus, uh, I'm sorry, times, right? Z squared equals to 3,600. From here, you got to write X, Y, Z to make a right square root. This X, Y, Z is what volume, that is a 60, okay? That's right, number 29. Number 30, we have area of sector, this 30, right? 35. So on tire, this is a 3 pi over here. This is all, they're all pi, right? So area of this circle is a 4 pi. So this is what pi r squared. From here, we can find the value of r, okay? r is 2. Okay? So this is 2, this is 2. What is the length of this arc? i times diameter. 4 pi is the circumference. This is what? 3 fourths of you, right? times the force, which is what, 3 pi, okay? So, the perimeter of this sector is what, 2 plus 2 plus 3 pi is 4 plus 3 pi, okay? So, this is how much is that, okay? 4 plus 9, this one, okay? Use your calculator, okay? 